what's the most adult film situation you've ever had? Story one. I met this girl on Tinder and in her profile, she said, deadass looking for dude friends. Nothing romantic. I took this quite literally and we became friends. About two weeks after meeting her, she caught in a panic and asked me to come over and check her attic because she heard noises from up there. Being the only guy she was friends with in the area, a new grad student, I came over. So naturally, these spooky ghosts left ectoplasm everywhere. I told her that for a future reference, if she wanted to fuck, she could ask. Story 2. I was on a school trip to NYC and we were in a very crowded elevator consisting of people from my class and people from a type from another school. As we were going to my destination, the girl in front of me started backing up into my junk while speaking to her friends. I thought that maybe it was unintentional since the elevator was so packed, so I tried my best to shift my legs so she wasn't straight up crushing my dick with her ass. However, as I started to move around, she would carry around with me, and 8th grade me had trouble keeping his hormones in check. Eventually, the elevator door opened and it let us all off. As we were getting off, I saw her walking with her friends. She turned around, smiled, and winked at me, then walked away with her friends. Story 3. I used to work in IT, and an office manager asked me to stop by his house to look at his home computer. Several people in the office knew that his wife did amateur porn. She answered the door in the bathrobe, and I said, I'm here to fix your computer. She replied, I've been expecting you. Come on in. It turned out, to be a DNS issue, so I just set it to 8.8.8.8, which resolved the issue. Story 4. In college, it was my 21st birthday party. I'm celebrating at my house off campus. Girls from other colleges were there. The night was over and I was sleeping in my room when a girl I knew from another school came in. 20 minutes later, we're having sex. Her friend, female, walks in and sees us, and we stop. But in my most Parker Lewis can't lose moment ever, I say, are you just going to stand there or take your shirt off? She laughs, closes the door behind her, then takes her shirt off and joins in. Story 5. I used to work at a restaurant and a colleague of mine slipped. She was spilling the drinks over me as I tried to catch her. Since my boss lived above the restaurant, he offered a shower upstairs to clean me up. I gladly accepted. However, this was never communicated to his wife, so she thought her husband was in the shower and decided to surprise him. So she snuck into the bathroom. It didn't have a lock. Got naked and quickly pulled the shower curtains open while striking a pose. To her surprise, it wasn't her husband that was showering. It was me. I also faced the shower curtain as she pulled it open. We both froze for a couple of seconds and locked eyes. She closed that curtain as fast as she opened it and apologized about a hundred times on her way out of the bathroom. I just started laughing when she left and fully realized what had happened. I finished my shower, went back downstairs and told my boss what had happened. He busted out laughing and asked if I liked what I saw. I answered with a yes, got a pat on the back, and went back to work. Me and my boss's wife never talked about it, but my boss would sometimes tease his wife when only we three were present. Story 6. My neighbor locked herself out of her townhouse dorm over winter break. I was the only resident living in the complex at the time. The resident assistant, who had a master key, bailed to his girlfriend's place four hours away and couldn't be back for another two days, but said he might return sooner. If we called the building director, the neighbor would be fined $200 for losing her keys, and the RA, we all liked, would be fired. She offered Lydia, the neighbor, the option of hanging out since it was a townhouse, and there was room. She said she could hang out until she could find somewhere else to go, and made a few phone calls that went unanswered. She ordered pizza and watched the movie that evening until she fell asleep on the couch. I put a pillow under her head and a blanket over her and went to bed. Woke up with her next to me in the morning. I spent the next two days intermittently having sex, watching movies, and making meals. She had this thing about hanging out in only t-shirts, underwear, and socks. So every meal prep was interrupted by us having to put stuff on a simmer and have sex. Story 7. My best friend got married just after college. I got paired with someone at the wedding party I had never met. While driving this older Jewish grad student to the bride's parents' place to the after party, she remarks, I'm glad you know how to drive a stick because this is the only stick I can drive and reaches over and grabs my junk for the rest of the ride. We banged around two rooms in a living room sectional that night while everyone was passed out all over the house. I got laid before the groom did that night. Story 8. I was on a date last week with a beautiful girl. Great body, a gorgeous face, and is scorching. We're nearing the end of dinner, and we start talking about sex and other atypical first date dinner conversation stuff. I don't know what I said, but she paused, looked at me seductively, and said, Would you like to go back to my place and eat my pussy? My jaw dropped. Never had that one happen before, and probably never will again. 
Story 9. The carpenter renovating my room thought I was gay. I'm straight. We were alone in the house. I finished taking a shower and was only in my towel. And I innocuously analyzed his shirtless torso in all its glory, wondering what routine he's doing in the gym. On the other hand, maybe I was staring too hard. He then approached me and tried to make out with me. I pushed him and laughed and said no. He said he thought I wanted to have sex with him with all the stares I was giving him. Lesson learned to be more aware of how I'm staring at people. Story 10. Delivered pizza to a hotel where a drunken orgy was going on. The customer gestured to me, 19-year-old nerd girl, mousy and unattractive, then to the scene, which included a guy snorting coke off a stripper's back and asked, Wanna play? I turned him down because I was more concerned about paying rent. He also turned down his tip offer of a baggie of cocaine. He tipped me $50 though, so that was cool. Story 11. My mom hired a guy to build us a deck, and I saw him look at me through my upstairs window on the first day. He was super hot and Russian. And with the idea of us being alone and him working while I was doing my own little thing, we knew what would go down. I'll be going to an 18-year-old. I was sold on screwing this contractor. We fucked on the last day of installation. It was a good lay, but the deck turned out like shit. Story 12. I was a cable guy. I did an installation at an apartment that turned out to be a porn studio. They were interviewing a girl for a potential job, asked what sort of scenes she'd be open to doing. As I recall, she was into lesbian stuff in an interracial, but not anal. Nothing happened, but I was thinking, I'm pretty sure this is how most 1980s porn scenes start. Story 13. I had a pest control guy come into my condo without really knocking when I was about 20 years old. I had just gotten out of the shower and was in only a bathrobe. I also had just done laundry, so all my delicates, like bras, panties, and lacy lingerie, were hanging around to dry. I have no idea what that poor guy was thinking I was trying to do, but I swear I didn't realize he was coming. Story 14 My roommate at the time and I were hosting some friends in our apartment. We both got pretty drunk and when everyone finally left, I was cleaning up and she had gone to bed. I got a text from her asking if I could sit with Harcourt, as she felt dizzy from being drunk and could use the company. So, I go to her room and sit on a chair beside her bed. She's laying face down with her blanket over her, and we're just talking. She laughs and says, you can sit on the bed, you know. So, I move over and sit on the edge of her bed. This is when I notice she's naked under the covers. Story 15. I was out with him one night when we met a lesbian couple. He always talks a big game, so at one point, they looked at each other and decided to take him home. So, the next day, I walk into work. He's got his head on the bar, cripplingly hung over. I ask him how it went, and he goes, don't ever have a threesome. There's just another girl to disappoint. They laughed me out of that room. 